Good day. By the end of this tutorial, you would have created an Ionic page with a header, toolbar, a title and content. From the Ionic documentation, the tree structure of the user interface has been defined. Using various components, we will create that with B4X. The first component is the Ionic header, we also add it in our abstract design. Inside the header, there is an Ionic toolbar. We also add a toolbar inside our header in the abstract design. Note that in the abstract design, the toolbar is placed inside the header, to follow the same tree-like structure in the documentation. Inside the toolbar, we have an Ionic title. We also have added that in our abstract design. As you can see now, we have a header, inside it a toolbar and inside the toolbar, a title. This completes our tree structure just like in the documentation. Beneath the header, we have an Ionic content component. Let's do the same in our abstract design. This has an Ion Padding class. We will check the Ion Padding property too. Inside the Ion content, we have a header 1. We will use a label to add this, and select H1 as a size, and place it inside the Ion content component. We set the text of this label as content just like in the documentation. Each component in the abstract design has a name. This can be converted into a variable of the same class and also be able to link events to it. This is done via generating members. The variable names for the components will be defined as global variables under process globals. To run our app, we first define and initialize an app class. After that, we load our abstract design. We then run the app to create the web app. The B4X IDE starts the Banano transpiler and creates a JavaScript version of our code. This will be then be published to our local development web server and shown in our default browser. We have successfully recreated our Ionic user interface with C so Ionic 7. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and tell us your thoughts in the comments.